So yesterday, President William Ruto concluded his five-day tour to the coastal region, which in my considered opinion, it was very, very successful. Raila Odinga was also in the coastal region, and of course, it was not a coincidence, because as usual, Raila Odinga was following William Ruto to the coastal region in the name of consolidating his support base and also to counter William Ruto politically. And that is why the CS Aisha Jumwa made a statement telling Raila Odinga that, let me just read for you, Wacha kufuatana fuatana na William Ruto kila aendapo, unacho kitafuta utakipata. So in this particular video here, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to explain to you the factual political incidences that took place in the coastal region between William Ruto and Raila Odinga, including the exclusive details of why Raila Odinga summoned the MCS in Mombasa County urgently over William Ruto's tour. Why specifically did Raila Odinga summon the MCS, not the MPs, not the governors, not the senators? And also, the details of a closed door meeting in Mombasa County between Raila Odinga, Kanonzo Musioka, and Moses Kuria. But before that, if you're watching me up to this point, maybe you are here for the first time, or maybe you haven't subscribed, I'm just requesting you to please take a second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also give this video a like. Just press the thumbs up button so that YouTube can automatically recommend this particular video and this channel to reach out to others. There are also the returning subscribers who are currently watching. I really want to appreciate you for your continued support. Without your support, this channel cannot be where it is currently and that is why I will not take it for granted. You can also automatically receive the notifications updates from YouTube itself immediately. I post a video on this channel by simply pressing the notification bell. Having said that, now let us go straight into the details. First of all, I tend to think that Raila Odinga tried some strategies to stop William Ruto's tour, but all of his attempts failed or ended up in vain. Raila Odinga's strategy number one is that the Azimio Lomoja Alliance paid some youths to heckle William Ruto in a certain rally. And I want you to watch this particular video clip very briefly, then we proceed. <laughs> You know, paying some youths to heckle the president is actually a sign of fear. It simply means that you are already defeated. Because I want you to realize that the 2027 general elections is still very far away. And secondly, William Ruto is just working for the people of the Republic of Kenya. That is his duty as the president. He is not campaigning. If it was a campaign rally or tour, then it would have been understandable. Raila Odinga's strategy number two to stop William Ruto's tour in that region was to conduct alternative events in that area or in that region. Like for example, Raila Odinga organized for the Luo Cultural Festival in Mombasa County. And I want you to ask yourself, why would Raila Odinga transfer the Luo Cultural Festival from the Luo Nyanza region to the coastal region, specifically in Mombasa County? I want you to have a look at these photos here. And this is what Raila Odinga made in his caption on his ex account. It has been a day full of songs and dance at the Luo Cultural Festival in Mombasa. Mwachamila Nimtumwa. So I tend to think that Raila Odinga organized this event so people will not talk about just William Ruto in the coastal region. They will still talk about Raila Odinga's cultural event. And also Raila Odinga's strategy number three was to organize for a closed door meeting between himself, Kalonzo Musioka, the Weber Party leader, and also the CS Moses Kuria. And I want you to have a look at these photos here very keenly. So what do you think about this particular meeting? What can you say about Moses Kuria having a secret closed door meeting with Raila Odinga and Kalu Musioka? What was their political plan? In my considered opinion, this meeting between 
Raila Odinga, Kalonzo, and Moses Kuria had two functions. First of all, it had something to do with the deputy president, Riga Shagwa. If you have been monitoring Moses Kuria of late, you realize that he has been attacking, he has been insulting Riga Shagwa. And I will say it here again. I don't think it is healthy. It is actually unacceptable for Riga Shagwa, the deputy president, to be humiliated, to be insulted by his juniors. And I think William Ruto must say something about all this. He must come up with a final solution. So basically, what I'm trying to say here is that for the longest period of time, Raila Odinga has always wanted someone to challenge Riga Shagwa in the larger Mount Kenya region. Raila Odinga tried with the former Mokiki leader, Mainanjenga himself, but from the look of things, it seems that Mainanjenga cannot challenge Riga Shagwa like the way Raila Odinga wants. So Raila Odinga can go for the next option. And also I tend to think that this particular meeting between Moses Kuria, Raila Odinga and Kanuzo Musioka, Raila Odinga was actually in a mission to counter President William Ruto's tour in the coastal region in that people will also talk about his meeting with Moses Kuria. So let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. And Raila Odinga's strategy number four, he immediately summoned the Taita Taveta MCAs to Mombasa County over William Ruto's tour to the coastal region. And I want you to have a look at these photos here very keenly of Raila Odinga being accompanied by the minority leader in the National Assembly, Honorable Opio Wandai, and these MCAs. And the caption that Raila Odinga made after posting those photos on his ex account, Raila Odinga said that, let me just read for you, your role is to ensure devolution is strengthened. You have to work for your people to ensure good service delivery for them. At Raila Odinga, when he held a meeting with members of the county assembly of Taita Taveta in Mombasa today. So the question that I've been asking myself, since when did Raila Odinga meet with the MCAs of a particular region? I've never seen him before doing that. So why would Raila Odinga conduct that meeting with the MCAs? First of all, Let me also know your opinions, your views in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I don't have much. That was it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Let me see you again in my next political analysis. But please don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.